put everything here? No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. So, can't go out of the hospital. Which I'm kind of grateful for, actually. I can't remember if I tried all this. One more of this kitchen door. Nope. Guess we're not going to the kitchen. Seems like one Come on, what do we got here? This is super helpful. Ooh, diary or something. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? And twisted individual. Hey, I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've played this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah, wasn't that Renegade right then talking about it? It's like I've got a seal for you. So, I don't know how you would know this, but there's something we want to do first. I'm just kind of remembered. Um, we got that plastic bag, and we want to go and get something with it. Damn it. Slurpers. So, up here on this, like, freaky looking floor. I thought it was with this. Maybe it's not. You want to, like, use the bag to, like, get blood. It's in here. <clears throat> and that's how you wouldn't have known, because I didn't check that this before. But there's like a body hanging there, dripping blood. That's pretty f effed up. <laughs> totally filled bucket. Full out bloodletting. The better question is, who the hell would use a plastic little Ziploc bag to uh, <laughs> gather some of the blood? might seem like a normal thing for you, Heather, but, uh... Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go back to the first floor. One left? Dang it. Stupid hospital. I hate this place. So I'm going to go and save again. Okay. Now we have our blood and everything. look inside this room better. Yeah, I mean, 
Perfect volume. Slippers are noticeably more damaging than the other ones. Well, that's a nurse with a gap in the We'll katana her. Ow! She's been wearing the gold for the best. we can actually like look at this area. So if you notice right here it says happy first birthday. That's totally not what birthday it is for us. There's totally a bunch of nurses in there. Um, this room here, C1, um, it's like the birthday room or something and that's why like the happy first birthday was written there. Um, Based on, I think it's like how much, how many ammo, how much ammo or health items you have, you'll get more ammo or health items here. So it's definitely good to like do this. I'm hoping it gives me health items because I don't have much. So I'm gonna shotgun these nurses, however many there are. Three. Okay. That's like the most nurses you can get in here, I think. Back down. Okay. What do we got in here? So this is a useful room. Something on the platform is too thin to be a person. I don't think I'll go as far to pull this sheet off and check. Yay, health items! Jesus. Three health drinks, though. First aid kit. And whatever the hell that freaky noise is. Another piece of paper. Birthday card. Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. <laughs> Still, it's not my birthday. And yes, we're 17 years old, by the way. Okay, I don't like that creepy noise in here anymore. I think I'm going to leave. Yeah, if you don't um, if you don't get that phone call in the locker, you don't get all those items. So not that there's less frightening noises out here or anything. These doors are so hard to find. No, oh, especially when they don't exist. Room C four, eh? Oh, we've got like an altar looking thing. That thing kind of reminds me of a pyramid head, except it's like rectangle head. Let's see a book here, Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, peace, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in bl the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religion's practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. 
Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Hmm, I bet that has something to do with the order. And look, that symbol is written in the book. Stretcher here, not just your usual stretcher, there's more than an altar of some sort. The candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? There's like blood everywhere, dude. I worship that picture or something in the picture. Take the nine. I guess we already have one, don't we? Saw that drawn on the dividing dividing screens at the hospital, but this is different. It seems like it was drawn a long, long time ago. Something. I don't know why I didn't a new one. Oh well. <laughs> That worked. Hmm. Basement? Maybe. I can't remember if we could get in the stairs or not. Wait, how do we get in? It sounds like there's enemies in it, but there's not. We already did basement. Okay, what the heck? We already did basement three. That was just the crematorium. Maybe there's something we missed in that room. Dang it, the doors are already closed. <laughs> hmm. so let's go back to room C4 here. So, that book said something about drenching the altar in blood, and we got a bag of blood, so let's try that. And what do you know? We were able to drench in blood. I don't know why that was effective. Now there's just more blood everywhere. <laughs> come from? Um, Alright. Well, I guess we can't get out of the room anymore, because now this is like a hole with a ladder. I'm going to save again. And if you're playing along with me, you want to as well. before you climb down this. Leonard? Yeah? Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Oh, what was that? I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. <laughs> Why must we reward even the unbelievers? Our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful, but first, one must be chosen. Only we who hearken to the voice of God will be given the keys to paradise. Mm, great, you're also insane. Don't you think so, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. 
I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I mm. thought you were a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so Heather. You no. tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you will get from me is a gruesome death. Great. Ah! Letter? Is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God! <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. <laughs> okay, yes, so this is a boss fight now. It's Leonard. Um, can you use either the shotgun or handgun for this fight? Or both? I mean, the shotgun's gonna be faster, the handgun, of course, slows him down. I don't know why, but. Oh. Uh, Oh, excuse me. He uh, goes underwater a lot, and you can't shoot him when he's under the water. And uh, he's got some pretty powerful attacks, so just kind of trying to stay away from him, obviously. Um, especially when he's underwater. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's. I don't know. That's pretty much all there is to the fight, I think. Just kind of kite him around and shoot him, and then, um, yeah. Oh, and don't run into that crazy thing that was spinning behind us because then obviously we could. So I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm gonna equip my best for one. Yeah. Try the shotgun first. So. You run really slow in the water. So. so that's him going in the water. Kind of see him, just stay away from him. And if you run into that thing, like I said, you die. So I, think you know, I think that'd be obvious. But, and if he like comes up at you from under the water, you get like, knocked down. So that's bad. Just don't waste any ammo when he's under water. Like, I don't know why. Switch over to handgun just to slow faster. Try that out. I'm trying to do this because I can't really tell where he is unless my flashlight is right on the water and he's right close to me. I mean, you're, you can follow her head a little bit to tell where he is. It's a good way to do it. Get it. He's too slow. If you don't have a lot of ammo, you can use a melee weapon. Harder, you have to attack him from the back. Because he's got some pretty good counter attacks. Looks like I can get up three shots or so off that before it goes in the way. It's kind of just an annoying long fight. Ow! That's the first he hit me. I was about to say, it's kind of just an annoying long fight. It doesn't seem too dangerous, but apparently they're not paying attention to this. 
fast when he swims. Try to shock him again. Watch for the damage. Some people say you can like step on him when he does that, but I wouldn't risk it because you get more close to him. Sights, that seems to be kind of thrashing around. I think that's some kicking. I just did. Ah! There's his attack when he comes out of the water. This is a long fight. There we go. So yeah, that's how you fight Leonard. <laughs> and look, we're back in the normal hospital. Asleep on the ground as always. Or just in a place where we shouldn't be asleep. Leonard's not here anymore. You killed him. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? Don't be kicking shit. It's a coaster. What's this? I just told you. Mark Marcus Amiel on the talisman coaster. You were in that room where all the stuff was glued to the wall. I doubt any of it matters to us, of course. Oh, my flashlight was off. Okay, how do we get out of this place again? <laughs> I think we're on the first floor, so we just head out of here. Why did you send her to my father? What? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. Hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes. 
And that's why we need God. What you call <laughs> faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. None of us. Yeah, you're right. Claudia, you're kind of hard to understand. You're kind of like crazy ass bitch. Okay, so we're heading back to the motel now. Which means we need to go north. Oh yeah, that's done. There we go. Ah, oh, so much faster. I love that. Well, glad to be back in the fog world from that nightmare hellish hospital. Enter. See, now we're back to just being able to run past enemies. We're just being trapped in tiny hallways with slopers. God, I hated those things. I wonder how many health things they made me use. Hmm. So, I guess that was Vincent and Claudia arguing in our hotel room. Why were they there? How'd they get there? Where is this place? Jeez. I guess Vincent's the one in- no, that's not it. <laughs> or it's a really crappy motel. Um, Vince is the one who set us after Leonard because he wanted him dead, I guess? And it sounds like Leonard believes the same cult stuff that Claudia does. Something about... Uh, 106. Let's see if Douglas is here. No, but Vincent is. Kill him! Katana him! Katana him! Where's Douglas? He went out. But we left a message for you. Cut this guy's head off with a katana. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't lie. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? What he meant by that? Um, probably a you building don't understand? you worship in. That's where Claudia is. Um. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. No, oh, damn it. Probably the only way in now. Can we just rowboat? Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm? But closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. I don't like this Vincent guy. Spin around a katana him. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? Uh, no. No, I don't, you slimy bastard. Damn it, I wanted to save it at the save point. Alright, well. Looks like we're going to be running up to freaking amusement park from here all along Nathan Avenue damn it that's gonna take forever <laughs> well is there anything you guys want to talk about while we're uh, running for forever <laughs> up to the amusement park Claudia reminds me a lot of Dahlia. Like, almost 
identical. Oh, hey, we're there! Sweet! That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I thought exactly, Heather. We're back at this stupid amusement park and it's stupid nightmare mode. Or other world. Man, we either have like really vivid and awesome nightmares or... Because everything's the same. Even that clown up there with those clown eyes. Let's just look at that for a while. No, I'm just kidding. can't bring it with me. <laughs> yeah, no shit, it's like a billboard. Dead body inside this box. Nothing interesting. That's not very nice. Stuffed animal rabbit is in this mask cart from the local amusement park. Smell the rotten inside. I hope we don't get hit by a stupid railroad. There's a roller coaster. If we like predict where the doors are going to be locked too, they're closer. Yay! We can go in here just like we could before, and it looks like exactly the same. Look at those bunny hats. Take one of them. knocked down and there's a save point. Ooh, and there's something else. It's like a giant key. Did you see how big that key looked in, from not in that view? It looked huge. Alright, we'll save it and that will be it for this time. So, I will see you later.